If you are a coder and still want to build machine learning models, then this particular video is for you. In this video, we are going to build one no code machine learning model that to logistic regression, which is a classification, which is a classification model. The objective of this video is to help you build intuition so that you can write effective machine learning codes. But before we dive in, Hey, my name is Kunal Naik. I'm the founder of data science masterminds, and I'm on a mission to help you learn and apply data science effectively so that you can grow in your career. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification so that you get notified whenever I make such intuitive videos like this. So let's dive in. For this classification example, we are going to use the logistic regression. And for this, we're going to use some bank marketing data. And we're going to predict whether or not the client will subscribe to our term deposit or no. This will help the banking customers marketing team to reduce their budget for their marketing efforts and reach out to the potential customers that are going to take the term deposit or no. So let's get started by first importing the data. We're going to start the we're going to import the data which is present in the data folder here. And I've put a link for this in the comment section below. It's a GitHub link. You can download the data and this particular workflow for you to work along. So first I'm going to read the C classification data, which is .csv file. I'm going to use a CSV reader for this. I'll drag the CSV reader here and I have to have the location of where this folder is present. So I'm just going to copy this and configure it to now place the location here and say browse. And it should now open up this window where I can select this data. Now, all of this is auto detecting the format and it's going to give us the columns. Just ensure that you have all the columns along with the last column that is subscribed column, which is what we need to predict. So you can say apply to this and say OK. And if it is yellow, it is ready to be executed. So I'm just going to call this as import data and I'm going to right click and say execute and right click on this and say file table, which is now that CSV file has been imported into the KNIM system. Now we are ready to do stuff on top of this. But we are going to predict classification or whether a customer is going to say yes or no to the term deposit. We're going to first begin by plotting how many yeses we have and how many noes we have. And this will just give us a sense of what happened historically. So when we are making predictions, we are making the predictions as per what we have seen historically. For this, we're going to do a plot, which is a bar plot, and we're going to plot the yeses and nos. I'm going to begin by basically taking the bar plot and dragging it here. Now we're going to take all the data that we have input data and put it into this bar chart node. So we're then going to right click on this and say configure. And we're going to say generate image. The category column is going to be subscribe library. And we're going to leave occurrence count as is and say, okay and execute and open views. So this is the bar plot for yeses and nos. Looks like there are like 40,000 customers present and only like 4,500 or let's say approximately 5,000 people have said yes, which is a very small percentage and definitely there is a class imbalance. Typically we are expected to have 50-50% of yeses and nos. We need to consider this point so that we can build a model accordingly. Next, I'm going to close this bar chart and now take this data that we have and partition the data into 80% and 20% split. The 80% we're going to use that for building the model and 20% is going to test how well we have built the model. And so we'll have a train accuracy and a validation accuracy, which will compare and see how well we are performing. So for that, we're going to take this partitioning node here and take all this data and we're going to configure this and say relative 80% here. And we can say draw randomly, but in this case, since it's a smaller portion who have said yes, we're going to just say stratify it. That way it will best divide the 80-20 split. So I'm going to say apply and say okay and execute this one. Now what this will give us is the first partition, which is the 80%, which will be roughly around 32,000 rows. And the next one is the second partition, which is roughly around 8,000 rows. So we have this split of data and we can say split into train and validation. Now we have this two split. We are going to take one split and build on top of it the logistic regression. So I'm going to take the logistic regression 
प्रेडिक्टर एंड लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन लर्नर सो वी गोन लर्न और बिल्ड द मॉडल यूजिंग द लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन लर्नर and we're going to predict using this predictor and we're going to require two different predictors one is for the train data and one or the other is for validation data okay so here we are going to build the model here we're going to predict on train data and then we are going to predict on validation data. So let's pump in the first portion to the learner here. I'm going to rise this a little bit here, and we're going to say configure. We are going to be predicting subscribe library and the reference category is yes. We want we are interested in the yes category. So we're going to use like this iteratively reweighted least squares. That is the most basic solver that we can use for logistic regression. and we'll remove the id column because that is not going to be used for the modeling and rest all of the columns we can keep as is i'm going to say apply and say okay and we're going to execute this i take some while to execute this model you might want to wait it out till it becomes green now once it's done we're going to right click on this and say model predictor and it's going to give us a bunch of stuff which is not going to be relevant as of now but then we can click on coefficients and statistics which will give us all the features that are there included the features that we have in the categorical columns and if we try to sort it by let's say descending order you will see that we got the constant of this particular variable and then we have the month jan may and all of that features which are important and down also you will see some strong features are available right Now we are going to not dwell into the statistics or the important features a lot. We are straight away just going to build the model and check the accuracy, so that you get to see the end-to-end -end implementation of it and are able to apply it either by yourself or while writing code. Next, what we are going to do now is take the logistic regression learner and take this blue square and join it with the predictors that we have here. So I am going to join both of this here. This is. transferring all the model coefficients to these learners so that if i pass the data which is the train data and the test data on this it should be able to predict for both train and validation and then we are going to calculate the accuracy on top of these sets to see how well we have performed next i'm going to now go and say configure and it is going to give me the predict column and append columns with predicted probabilities now you can check both of this i'm just going to leave the defaults here say okay and say execute and say predicted data so what this does is it takes the entire data that we took in and adds another additional column after predicted binary which is going to be called as sub predicted subscribed binary so these are the actual values and these are the predicted values now for calculating the accuracy we need both the actuals and predictions and then we are going to score them according to these two similarly i'm going to say here execute and look at the predicted data this is going to be doing all the predictions for the validation data set now notice this portion the second portion of the data we did not use while modeling and so it has the model has not seen this data and this is a portion that is kept aside so that we can validate and know how well it is performing on unseen data as and when it comes into the future after this we are going to do the scorer here which is going to be helping us get the accuracies and i'm going to copy this one paste it here and i'm going to create two scorers so this is going to be the train performance copy that and this is going to be the validation performance so now we have the train performance and validation performance i'm going to plug in the data there i want to plug in the data here i want to configure this to compare subscribe binary with predictions of subscribe binary say okay similarly i'm going to say configure here compare the subscribe binary with predicted subscribe binary and say okay and we're going to execute this we're going to execute this now i can open up the views which is the accuracy statistics and you should be able to see the accuracy now which is for the yes you want to look at this particular row and see how well we have performed 
and if you'll see there are a bunch of other statistics but we're going to see the overall which is going to give us the accuracy so the accuracy says it's 90 percent which is a good start off with but you can if you see other metrics that are there that is recall is recall for yes is 0.34 which means that out of 100 yeses our model is able to capture only 34 of them properly and the other issue is that it's able to capture the no's accurately that's because we have a lot of no's so even if you say all no's you're going to get a very good percentage because 90 percent of the data is just no right so because of the imbalance the overall accuracy may look good however when you move down to the yeses and no's there is going to be some issues there we'll try to fix this in another video and uh, i'm going to post that towards the end or somewhere up here on these cards to see how i have improved this particular accuracy so i'm going to cl close this now and right click on this and look at the accuracy statistics here and looks like we got 90 percent here which means that both of these models are working good it's just that we've not built it in the right way to get us the good prediction considering the imbalance we have within the data now that we have built our model and predicted on the train and validation data set you now know how to make a machine learning model using no code solution like k9 now if you want me to make some more videos on this no code platform to mention your ideas in the comment section below and i'll make those videos for you in the next video i'm going to show you how to improve this particular score and ensure that you are doing the right stuff while handling the case of imbalance.